Right, hello everybody. Welcome to the replay analysis of my round three Rebel World Cup qualifier. Um, as you can see, uh, playing Skaven and he started with a blitz. Um, he won the toss and chose to kick. Um, now, as you can see, I set up kind of anti-blitz as much as I could. Um, in, you know, if, if the kick had been short to the sides, you'd have still got to it. But you could only go through the sides. If you blitz this guy, you can't get through because the screen. And if he gets a push here, there's still a bit of a screen. So um, I like that I'd set up a little bit anti-blitz. Um, the Rebel was nearly NAF style. They just had a strange point system um, as well. So he actually made probably a better than normal NAF team with Air Skaven. He got seven skills total. Um, wrestle line rat. I think maybe it should have been wrestle gutter, but never mind. Sidestep gutter for the one turn. Strip block. Dirty player tackle and mighty blow. So um, yeah, and then I went with a standard wood elf team, except that there was there was attacks on multiples of the same skill, so I couldn't have two dodge so I went dodge and wrestle, which turns out all right anyway, doesn't it? He stacked both GFIs there, which I thought was a little. A little greedy, uh, but got away with it. But yeah, I mean, as, as as blitzers go, it wasn't wasn't really devastating, was it? Could it could have gone worse, but I mean, I was it bounced to him. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It bounced to him. I thought, oh no. But at least I could have blitzed him into the uh, into the wardens if he had caught it. And I decided to make it super safe, making it a three dice. Because I might have had to reroll this block and not be able to reroll the hit. Now, I wouldn't even need to reroll the hit anyway, I could have just pushed it here, but still. I thought it was good to make it three dice and have the cage there as well. Yeah, I thought I also thought it was better to not move him until I picked it up. I don't know, maybe I should have moved him first. I'm not sure. Obviously, I was always wary of the strip here. Double GFI to get in. Not too scary. Well, risking the 1 in 81 to free up the Dancer is... My other option was to just dodge, and I didn't want to dodge when I'm 136, did I? So I had to... Uh, it was it was horrible to risk that, but I wasn't about to blitz without tackle. Well, maybe I could have done. Maybe I could have just blitzed him without tackle. Three dice with him, but then, you know, it's all swings and roundabouts at the end of the day, isn't it? I'm not saying... I'm not saying what I did was was right or wrong, but everything's got pros and cons, hasn't it? Like, it was a bit risky hitting with him, out him, obviously. One in nine to use a reroll even is bad. But I really wanted to knock him over, because I think if he's up... If he's up, then he's just got more dangerous players in 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 spots, hasn't he? Oh, really. If you get the chance to knock down a gutter runner, you've got to go for it, haven't you? At the end of the day. You don't want to piss about with uh, without tackle when you've got tackle. But, you know, it's, it was risky. So he didn't he didn't push the, the threat with a blitz here, which I I enjoyed very much. That he didn't he didn't push the uh he didn't push it. I thought about uh caging behind the tree and then realised there was no need because I'd be getting really far forward. And if the tree do double like double down, it'd be horrible, wouldn't it? So I decided to cage up behind, behind in a uh, anything. Maybe I could have even just put him there or something. I don't know. And it's it's a bit much to second guess every every move, isn't it? Um, even though it's kind of what this can be used for. So yeah, I wanted to have a screen there. And then I decided, for some reason, I decided to move him here because I thought if I power him and follow, I can move this guy to here and there'd be a screen there, which I was more worried about with the wrestle guy. Um, but as it happened, I, pro I followed up anyway and then because I didn't power him, I couldn't move him there. But maybe I shouldn't have moved him anyway. And maybe this guy should have been back one. Maybe this guy should have been here. This was a dangerous spot for him, wasn't it? Good move, I thought, getting the, uh, getting the additional blocks in here. Make the blitz there to get additional blocks. Though for some reason he made the next hit with the non wrestle guy. Oh, 
was out of hit with a wrestle. Oh, no, 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 that's right. That's actually right, isn't it? Because he pushes him to there and then... No. I don't know. I would have just hit with a wrestle and not got another hit on him. I would have just pushed him to there and not hit him again. Because otherwise you get you might leave your gutter in contact. That was a nice, huge hole in, in the in the centre of his defence with that both down. And that's another thing as well, failure state, isn't it? Um, now he's opened up a huge gap in his in his defence. Get the hit the tackle because I obviously want the tackle guy. I mean the main the main things here in my drive is the tackle, the strip, the wrestle. They're, they're, they're all quite important, aren't they? Sure hands for his drive, I'd like to get rid of him. Obviously the dirty player I'd like to get rid of. So the sure, the sidestep for the one turn. So he's got a lot of good players. Like pretty much everything that he's got is pretty relevant. Like the mighty blow is the least relevant, but then can cut, you know, I'd rather not be taking mighty blow hits. <laughs> Whereas really all I've got is my dancers, isn't it? Everything else is just are just players, really. They're the only crucial ones. Because he's got a lot of things which are quite good. Try thought about him having him back to stop the dancer getting hit, but then I thought more try to just double this up. A bit of protection. Uh, well, it it doesn't it doesn't have any additional the mighty blow doesn't have additional tools, does it? It's just uh, it just increases the odds of attrition. It doesn't it doesn't do anything game winning. Whereas the wrestle could hit or could wrestle the ball carrier, the tackle could tackle the ball carrier, the strip could strip the ball carrier, the dirty player and and the is a defenseless armor seven guy, so he's a good one to hit. You know, if you don't have any other options, sure hands can be crucial, and so can sidestep. So mighty blow. Obviously, it can win the game from if it makes if it goes on a tear, but it's just dice, isn't it? It's not. Um... Yeah, I didn't even realize that this guy was here. <laughs> I, I completely forgot about him, and didn't care that he had a scoring threat. Um, and he, he luckily for me got sent off with his first dirty player foul. So that was that was incredibly lucky. And also gave me a sure hands guy to to blitz as well, which was nice. Defenseless armor seven with uh with the uh with sure hands is a good one to hit, isn't he? But I did save moves first though. I did everything. The bad thing was this this blitz exposed my uh exposed my dancer. Which is a bit a bit bad. Um because I probably shouldn't have. Should I have moved this? Did I move this guy first? Yeah, there's no. Re I should have moved this guy to here, and then I could have protected the dancer, but I didn't. I just moved him to the wrong square. So yeah, I absolutely should have. Uh... Oh, it's because I wanted to keep him based and then cast him anyway. But I really should have put the the catcher there so I could have protected the dancer. If the catcher had been here, that's so much better, isn't it? So, but I thought if he hits my if he hits my war dancer, then at least giving me more space over here, isn't he? So, so that's the thing. By going for that blitz, he does leave himself. A little bit threadbare, doesn't he? <laughs> and yeah, I completely forgot this guy for the <laughs> for the whole half. Even though I did a similar thing in my uh, German Blood Bowl League game, I did a similar thing of having a guy behind, which made him keep a full cage. And I I completely forgot about him. I was just keeping the full cage because of the stripper. Um, <laughs> and I completely forgot about the threat of of this guy in the rear. So again here, I, obviously this was the obvious guy to blitz to, to get an easier progression, but I really wanted to blitz the uh, sidestepper just to maybe remove him, seeing as he's got a good chance of one turning, hasn't he? Sidestep ups the, uh, ups the one turn odds quite a bit, I think. Good job it was three dice as well, actually. 
and then cast him. So that was really lucky. Um, uh, but he got the uh, use his apple on it because he's only badly hurt, which is obviously a great apple. This one was a really bad route. What I probably should have done was actually moved him last so I could have used a reroll on the route because there was only three turns left. Maybe I should have rerolled that, um, you know, done it last so I could have rerolled the route because obviously occupying the tackle would have been amazing at that point, at that particular juncture. So he's trying to screen, but with three turns left, it's uh, with two men down and three turns left, he ain't going to work, is it? And he, he misplayed here, he uh, dodged in through tackle, whereas, although it didn't matter because he failed the dodge anyway, it did cost him a reroll. Um, he should have obviously come in this way to not have to dodge through tackle, so that was, that was a mis mistake there for sure. Uh, obviously three dice here with tackle, I'm not, I'm not going to not do that. When it, when it comes to gutter runners I even I don't know if I did this wrong I greeted this um, and I'm not sure I should have done got a Kaz <laughs> so it was very good but with a ball where it was I mean if I had failed that if I had triple skulled it I mean it was only a triple skull to be fair it was only a triple skull that, that loses me the game but a triple skull would have lost me the game probably wouldn't it left the ball completely exposed um, so maybe I should have but he was kind of in the way, wasn't he? Directly in the way of where I wanted to go. So I didn't, I didn't hate uh, re-rolling that. And you can argue I made a mistake here as well. Um, obviously, I wanted to do protect him. I was, I wanted to protect against the strip more than the wrestle. Well, the strip, the, the wrestle was actually just a five plus for a one D. It was actually really good odds, so I really should have protected against the wrestle more than the strip. Um, the strip was already had to dodge through loads of dodges and through tackle in the end. And he just went for a three dice mighty blow hit in the end. But yeah, I guess I probably should have protected against the wrestle more. As it happens. And this is when I remembered about this gutter runner there, <laughs> this turn. <laughs> this turn, this turn was when I remembered about the, uh, when I remembered about the gutter there. Um, yeah, so, you know, I, I didn't really like going this tight because I thought if he powers me, the ball could go on the ground. Like if he does some, you know, six plus dodge in, and powers me, or five plus dodge and powers uphill powers me. The ball could go in the crowd, but then, similarly, I wanted it in the corner just to make everything a bit harder, harder to reach, basically. And then, uh, obviously, blitz, blitz the strip. Even though, even though I had to sacrifice the catcher, and hit another guy. I mean, I probably shouldn't have done much. This should have probably been one one over, to be fair. They probably shouldn't have gone on the sideline. Thinking about it, probably shouldn't have gone on the sideline. But again, he doesn't go for the cage dive. Probably should have done. But got horrible dice and uh, got wrestled down, so didn't even get tackle on the ball. But I mean, getting tackle on the ball doesn't mean anything. I get two plus dodge away to score. I mean... You, that that was that was that was the wrong play, wasn't it? Really, making me relying on me failing a one in thirty six was was not the play, at all. There, um, he should have he should have cage dived with something somehow, especially as I was neither near there. So yeah, I really, I was really bad mispositioned. Here, I actually should have blitzed with a ward answer, and then I could have got a follow up hit. But I didn't, I blitzed with a wrestle guy and then didn't have a follow up three dice. Whereas if uh, he'd blitzed around, I would have done. Just spotted that now. And I, oh no, actually, I could have got a surf there. I couldn't have. <laughs> I missed it again. I missed the surf again, even in the replay. I missed, I missed the surf in the match and in the replay. <laughs> so yeah, could have surfed. Oh well, fuck it. Doesn't matter. I was just, really, I just wanted to make us, you know, a three dice block. With uh, 
with block or wrestle and just not turn over was was my number one goal there. But yeah, I probably should have tried for a serve. Even if it would have been two dice. I don't know if I could have three dice served, but I guess I should have gone for a two dice serve. But oh. I, I want to stop now and run back, but the replay tool's terrible. The surf was a three dice, was it? <laughs> yeah, at the time I, <laughs> I missed it. Yeah, yeah, surf the down some of them, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, was, that wasn't my finest hour. But look, at the end of the day, a turn eight surf isn't so important, is it? The turn eight surf is just trying to injure him. Whereas the main usefulness of a surf is removing a player guaranteed for the rest of the drive. And removing from the rest of the drive was absolutely irrelevant there, wasn't it? Whereas whereas it was just a free chance to injure him, which is... Uh, it wasn't so important, but yeah, I should have still done it, obviously. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I should have either done a three... I mean, I mean, the three dice was just trying to injure him as well, wasn't it? So I really should... You know, I absolutely should have done it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I absolutely should have gone for the surf. But it wasn't... It wasn't the worst thing ever to miss it. If I'd missed it earlier, it would have been a lot worse. So now this is my one-turn defence. He, he, he fucked up here. Uh, pardon my French, because he should have rerolled. He should have made that two dice and rerolled it. Um, and he did neither of those things. And then set up a three dice blitz on the, a secondary three dice blitz on the war dancer before. And I was terrified of this. And then we both realised he actually can only make one blitz a turn. So it didn't get the three dice. The, the war dancer. So, yeah, that was that was that was a good one turn attempt. Good for me. But yeah, abs absolutely missed that surf. So you can, when you're watching this on YouTube, you can you can laugh at me for failing that surf. <laughs> I just didn't spot it. I mean, that's the thing on it. When when if I was watching the game, I would have been like, should have surfed there. Probably, but um, but. When I'm playing, it's you know you get the tunnel vision, don't you? Playing blood ball yourself. So that was definitely just a bit of tunnel vision there. Just thinking, I want to make a three dice, and, and I wanted a three dice into a three dice. That was my that was what I was thinking. Just didn't even think about the surf. Absolutely, absolutely my bad there. Uh, getting the tunnel vision, and and I still had the tunnel vision on the replay, which is why I said, "Oh, look, this isn't the way I could have got three dice in the three dice," because again, I was just already in that tunnel vision still. Right, so this is uh, chase cams. So whoever receives gets the camera view, which is good because it gives me a new look at it as well, doesn't it? So yeah, I've got very lucky with the removals here, of course. He's down to nine players. I'm still on eleven. Very lucky to be on eleven. I mean, he didn't get make that many hits with mighty blow because he was also trying to hit with tackle, wasn't he? Um, so he probably didn't get too many mighty blow hits in. For example, he doesn't hit with mighty blow this turn as well. And I was getting some mighty blow hits in with a tree who didn't really do a lot. And obviously one of my cars was the ref. So, well, there you go. He gets the cars there. And I'm surprised he. I'm surprised he didn't just hang back with a gutter and uh, and go for the two turn score. I'm surprised that he went for the. A pass. I mean, that's that's very Dave like. I don't, I don't, like, I don't like making a pass there in a in a res environment. I think you'd be much better off just standing here and handing off. Um, but yeah, it certainly it certainly tempts me to hit the ball, doesn't it? Which you know, maybe I shouldn't have done. Maybe I should have just kind of like let him score, if you like, blitz the tackle or blitz the gutter and screen off. I, I could have done that. Um, but he made the second cas. And I'm thinking, well, now I've got such an easy, you know, just an e such an easy way to get the ball here. And maybe I should have hit with tackle rather than strip. But I thought getting the ball is so easy that, may you know, maybe I can make it a scramble and uh, and get the second touchdown. But, um, yeah, th this was just a better place to, to stand because I could have I could have blocked first with a with a tree and then gone around this backside. But didn't. Did the leap, got the ball. Regretting using tackle now. Couldn't follow because I could have been surfed. Maybe I should have followed though. I mean, the chance of him surfing was small with the hits and the basing I was about to do. So maybe I should have followed.
Cheeky mighty blow hit. And yeah, th this guy here makes it easier to get around. So I tagged him with the first one, and then I really thought about whether I should just tag the ball here, or whether I should... See, that's why I stopped here. Because I thought, should I make this GFI? And I thought, screw it, I might as well, because it was too easy for him to score here with the ball on the ground. Double won it, and there you go. I probably should have just... Probably should have just based the ball, shouldn't I? Yeah, I had, I had to leap anyway because of his, because of the position of his tackle. If I wanted to hit the ball, I had to leap in. But I don't know. Didn't didn't really matter. I didn't want to do the block first to come round the backside. There were, there were there were decisions to be made, and I'm not saying I definitely did the right thing at all. Never never want to do that. He should have gone for the handoff here, shouldn't he? he should have gone for the three plus handoff. He should have probably gone around there and the handed it off to him. Um, instead of instead of that, he makes a bit of a risque pass here, four plus, cheeky four plus pass. I think I think just making the three plus catch would have been better. <laughs> Although I guess worst failure state for him if he fails the handoff. Um, and he, he stacks all these dodges against the tackle which I thought wasn't very good. And used a reroll on it and got KO'd, which was unlucky, clearly. But I haven't got really much chance of stopping him here with committing the tackle there. Maybe I shouldn't have committed the tackle to the front. If I'd kept the tackle back as a sweeper, maybe that would have been better. And then based the gutter with him. I mean, putting tackle on the gutter didn't really matter that much, did it? This is a bit disappointing not to get a push here, because a push there, I could have hit him as well. But even then, I figured, look, I've used my leader reroll, so I can just make these GFIs in the hit and not reroll any of it, just see what happens. Get the both down, both down on no balls. My guy gets stunned. Um, if he would be the one who got stunned, he might have had a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A slightly more difficulty scoring, but not much. So yeah, that's the thing about blood ball. You know, even though a four plus two plus is harder than a three plus, the failure state was better where he did it. So it's not nothing's cut and dried, is it? Although that looked bad, um, to an extent, it also wasn't. Also, now he's got the extra, if I'd stunned him, he, he had the extra scoring threat by doing that as well. So really, it, it's really hard to say anything's right in Blood Bowl. It's pretty much only on turn eight, well, turn 16 of a resurrection environment is really the only time where there's a strict right or wrong play isn't there I was a bit sad that he got both KOs back uh, there obviously because it would have been really nice to have had a man advantage we're both on 9 and with both having like that favours the defence I think in this lean on an elfy matchup because I really I really want to uh, to just cage up and grind down and score on turn 16 you know 2-1 grind classic um, but with only having you know really Eight elves. This guy can't be relied on, can he? The tree. Um, but look, look, you get the reroll there. Did have plus one fame, but still went for the pick up first because I just thought I have to be able to reroll it. There's no point in making a block here and then uh, you know using my reroll for the turn. I had to just make the pick up because I couldn't risk it going to the crowd. It could go anywhere, couldn't it? So I had to make sure I had the reroll there. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I hang back, and maybe I hang back too long here. Maybe I hang back too long, but I'm hanging back out of range of the, uh, out of range of the tackler and the stripper at all at all times. I'm just trying to, trying to get, um, you know, uh, something going, a bit of a man advantage because, it's it's up to him to like, pressure, isn't it? Really, is what I'm thinking. If he wants to go for the win. He, you know, and he commits somewhere, then I can be an elf and go somewhere else, is what I'm thinking. I 
I mean, even though even though Skaven are basically faster, they don't have the they don't have the agility apart from the three covers, do they? So. That's all he does. So I had to push in here. This was a nice thing. I could push him into there, then push him into there, then hit him with the tree, but got the both down, which I didn't particularly like. And then I just thought, I'll just block with block here because I didn't want to use a reroll this turn. Thought, thought quite a lot there about what to do because pushing him... Could have pushed him into the tree, couldn't I? Didn't want to risk activating the tree this turn. Yeah, just stay out of range of the stripper. And the tackler. But yeah, only four turns, so it's getting... It's getting... You know, I don't know. Maybe I should have brought it forward earlier. I don't know. It's getting a bit touch and go now. Gonna have to roll some dice. I really, I probably really should have moved up this turn over here, maybe or something. And then I make a non-block block, um, and use the re-roll, which is obviously a bit, a bit not that unfortunate. I, just, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, but you know, what? I probably shouldn't have. Done this. I probably should have tried a cage up, but it wasn't easy with with him only being strength two and that, and the blitz and everything. I didn't like blitzing the wrestle guy, so I had to blitz him. Got a stun, but yeah, maybe I should have uh, maybe I should have brought the ball up here somehow. That turn, I don't know. Instead, said I went back a little bit to make sure that I couldn't get based by anybody. Maybe a little bit excessive running back, but also I was eight away from getting behind behind the tree. Which, but yeah, maybe I left it a bit too late. I really did make things dicey by by waiting back so long. I took out any flexibility, didn't I? This goes for the non-tackle mighty blow hit. And that's the thing, that that's why, like... Although his... his well, actually, he ended up his, his attrition was fine because he made two cars to my two cars. But the first half, like, that's it. He's either getting to make mighty blow hits against defenseless guys or tackle hits against dodgers. The mighty blows against dodgers isn't very good, is it? I probably should have tried to get an extra scoring throw up this turn. Uh, but I, I really I had to score turn sixteen. Like the thing is, I felt that I had to score turn sixteen anyway against against uh, Skaven. This was a bit of an uncomfortable double skull because now, you know, anything could happen. Double skull and a push, but at least that made the uh, the cage safe. And then this is one in thirty sixes, isn't it? Rather than one in nine, so. Thought it was best to go for these now. And yeah, ended up ended up pretty good, caging caging the ball with the entire team, and uh, in striking distance in the last two turns. But I just knew that even if I go forward next turn to like here or here, then he's going to be able to move his team in front, isn't he? So it was always going to be dodgy by waiting so long. <laughs> it's the one in nine. Wrestle saves himself. Glorious. I think maybe he makes a bit of a mistake here. Uh, moving this guy back. Ah, no, that's okay, moving this guy back as far. But I think this guy should have come over here because he gives me a gaping hole there. And then, again, the crucial the crucial route 
Because if he goes there, it's amazing. Because it gives me the blitz here, and it guards my whole backside. Like he, he's basing two, he'll you know hopefully down this guy, and then he's basing two players, and uh, and shutting down everything there. I was I was really unhappy to fail that route, but obviously couldn't reroll it. And it, it wasn't that bad because it did mean that I get to hit the uh, hit the good run with tackle. I thought, but then I realised I couldn't because he's got sidestep. So I just thought, let's cage up. Safe moves first, only got one reroll, want to use it on the last turn. Um, so yeah, I switched. I, well, I didn't switch, I just went all safe moves first. And then the blitz was a bit irrelevant really at the end. Put him there so that if the stripper goes in, it's a six plus dodge, unless he comes around here somewhere. So he was there to stop that. Um, there you go. And then obviously blitz the wrestler because the wrestler's a threat to get the ball, isn't he? Maybe he should have just gone for the six plus dodge in here to one dice. That was that was maybe the play. But obviously now turn sixteen he thinks he can still get the draw if he screens. Maybe he should have played more aggressive on defence if he wanted the win. I mean to score early and then not try for the win. I don't know if I uh, if I agree with that, but tries to get in the way anyway, you know, it does get in the way. Yeah, but these two guys, you know, that was really, really bad for me that these two guys could get up. Like, if that tree had just had moved, everything would have been way easier on the last turn here. That stops the kind of easiest way out. But he he moves this guy to the wrong square here, in my opinion. Put him there. I think he should have been here. Um, so I thought for a long time here, and maybe you can find the absolute correct player. But you know, this is turn six. This is the one time that there is an absolute optimal play in Blood Bowl, isn't there? Because the only thing I have to do is score the touchdown. Um, the risk, of the you know, risk of failure isn't isn't a thing. Um, you know, like making a pass or a GFI, there's whatever. There's no difference because, like, normally if you'd make a GFI to reduce the band range of a pass, it increases the odds. But there's a chance you fail GFI and die. Now the only thing that matters is the chance of success, and it'd be interesting if anyone knows if I got it right or not. I think it was right. A two plus there to make this a two dice. This seemed like the easy, the, the right play to me. These, this guy had dodge, but I, I don't see where he could go relevant. And I don't think I could risk this block in case it is a push to here. And a dodge and a GFI, so two two pluses, a two dice block, and a, uh, and a two plus dodge with dodge. I think that was the the, the best way. And yeah, maybe he maybe he could have positioned better on his turn sixteen to uh, make it harder. But it, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard to defend against a movement eight guy who can leap <laughs> and has dodge. You know, it really is hard. I think maybe he's maybe his mistake in that game was not going for a, a, a you know a cage dive at, at, at any point really. Um, oh, he did he did one cage dive, didn't he? But he, he went through tackle and failed the five plus dodge. Um, but yeah, eleven. I did get more AB breaks. Which is, but you know he he you know made more blocks, and uh, yeah, that's the thing. It was the guys he wants to hit with mighty blow are the guys with dodge, aren't they? So it's um, well very lucky with the dodges. Didn't make many dodges, even though nineteen's a lot. Um, it was uh, double one on that GFI, wasn't it? Maybe, but maybe I shouldn't have made that GFI. But there you go. Anyway, the dice don't really don't really tell much of a story. Um, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.